Existence in the earth is very limited. According to Vedas, a man could live, if he carry on his life, live with the according to regulatory principles, if he carefully maintain his life, he could easily go for 100 years. You understand? Not too much eating, not too much sleeping, not too much doing this and that. If you live moderate life, then you may live for 100 years. 100 years in the universal time, nothing. This universe is 4,500 billion years. You know, now talk about billion, our dollar billions, huh? Now the common words in the Sri can talking. So many billion that we have. The time is running, clock running. So in this context, so we are the fortunate one. The time brought us together. We are coming from a different part of the land. I am coming from the top of the Sri Lanka. The point P2. The top point in the northern area. Our Dean also come from that area. The Prabhagan, Dr. Prabhagan. When I was in the school, he was uh, uh, in the garden. His uh, father was our teacher. Why I am referring him? When he was a student in the Pennsylvania University in the engineering faculty, the faculty, he was my brother's batchmate. Professor Manjula Fernando, I think Professor Arturaya teacher, Manjula Fernando. Professor Arturaya was told, uh, called by our dean as our uh, mastermind architect of this faculty 10 years ago, 11 years ago. He was the head of the department there, almost a professor in Pennsylvania. He came here and built this five billion worth of uh, buildings and uh, infrastructure, laboratory development. Then gradually people start coming. So now the well uh, equipped laboratories we have, uh, well resourceful human resources we have. We have so many professors now. So it's one of the full-fledged university. Now IESL is uh, almost going to give a recognition. So the Prabhakaran, when he was a student at the Pennsylvania with the Manila Fernando and uh, all these people, the Professor Jayasaya was his uh, mentor, his university was closed for three years in 89. So not by World Bank dollar problem, it's something else. Very big problem. 60,000 senior is going to disappear. Huge. So don't think the problems are new for Sri Lanka. Then after that, LTD. And our travel problem. So I have been witnessing all this. I came to this university in 79. So how many years? I can't even count. All my, all my days like today. Either problem, sugar problem, soap problem, all problem I had. 
But I still am strong. I am 62 years old, no problem. So this is your mindset. So Japna man could thrive during any circumstance. That is today is evidence because despite of all this problem, we don't want to stay home. I travel now uh, around 100 kilometers to reach it. Yes, I come from Japna. So here if you reach another 100 kilometers, you will be in Madhavaj. Right? So, that is what our character is. There is no ponds in Jatna, there is no rivers in Jatna, there is no mountains in Jatna, there is no jungles in Jatna, and Jatna is famous for education. It's not now. We have a history for so many thousand years. Our pioneering education comes from indigenous medicine. Then the West, first Western medicine came into this all Eastern Pacific and this South Asia is come from Japna. First, Jap medical association come from Japna. Engineering education, even the pioneers of engineering education with the EOA Pereira and the colleagues for Japna people. If you go Mahalingam professor, what's the initial for Mahali? S. Mahalingam. If you go to Pereira University, there's a jet engine there. You will go one day. I think Charlie, I will take you at least for the survey again. Right? You will go there, you will witness a jet engine. So Mahalingam, when he was a student in uh, Rolls Royce, funded project, he actually got the troubleshooting for jet engine vibration. Then the Rolls Royce said, why don't you stay here and help us as a PhD student? The Mahalingam said, no. I am going to my motherland to generate another set of people to fixing all jet engine problems. He's the best mechanical engineer ever produced in this country. He's no more with us. He's a pioneer. A engineer education in this part of the world. Then what happened? Rolls Royce said, okay, why don't you ask something so that we will feel at least we can express our gratitude to you. Right? Why don't you ask something? You are going. Then he said, why don't you give a model jet engine so that I can go and teach that. So he brought a jet engine with him. So the jet engine is there. Then Professor Dhuvraja, his generational students are decorating from California to other part of the Pacific, Australia. Starting from Pacific, it's come from another part of the Pacific. The Pacific has two sides. Atlantic side and this Asian side. His students are there. Today, a student com comparing here, the mind coordination, the, the, the guy there, the government, you come here. He's from Tripimili. He came to this place like you do five years ago. Today, he's a first class. He absorbed in the computer engineering department. No, no, we are not promoting him. Now, Mary and could have this scholarship. We find for PhD. Congratulations, you got. You are a good testimony for us. What Japna can do? What Japna can do? This guy from Tegumili entered the university four years ago. Within the four years, the Aparaja always put a calendar for five years, not four years. Every day counted. I know, he got even heart attack, I got heart attack. But there are some problems. It's not easy to run every machinery. You can machinery, you can run. This bio machine is very difficult to run. The board has created this machine. This is a biological machine. Only doctors can make this, not the engineers. So this biological machine feels a lot of stress when you want to meet the timeline. As a, a pioneer indeed, he had a lot of, he had to toil very hard. Although his wife is a doctor, from again from Japna University, but he had to work very hard. He sacrificed his health. Uh, today, uh, he is witnessing the new generation of people are taking the mantle. So why I tell this? You know, if you want to do something, if you want to create, if you want to clap, you can't do with the one hand. It has to be done like this. So the staff and the students, we have to join together. 
then only this knowledge cultivation business will be done in a most appropriate way. If you are lazy, if you are not cooperating with this uh, very modern demand, now the engineers are very different. Not all these engineers. Those engineers are conventional engineers. Now the engineers have to learn a lot of things. The new technologies are coming in. I know the K teacher and the civil engineering head, he is using a biological methods. The biotechnology earlier used only for uh, drugs preparation or the agriculture, uh, the gene mo modification, some genetic engineering. Now I know, I heard some of the uh, speeches they do in the seminars. They are using biotechnology for concrete. Uh, this, uh, what do you call, porous, uh, anti-porous effect. In concrete, if you have a cracks, to mend the cracks, they want to use biological weapons. So biotechnology coming to the engineer, nanotechnology coming to the engineer. So all this technological development, science development are contributing. So all going to be in your head. Not like old days. My my generation engineers would have learned a lot of mathematics. Now I know you also don't like that mind of mathematics. I know I am a mathematician in anyway. So when I sit in the selection board, I talk to engineers, whoever comes. I go a little bit on the mathematical side. They feel now, no, no. They say I have enough software, it's the model. They some, put something, get something out of it, and they fix something and go. Not like our generation. Our generation, we won't do everything by and computation and you know kind of you know what mathematics means. Mathematics is the most appropriate subject for the science communication. It's the language of science. So ladies and gentlemen, today you are come to the faculty. This faculty is around nine batch. Then you know when I am leading a journey, this is your journey. It's not sent so far I talked about our faculty. Now you are here. This is your first day in the universe. So it's a remarkable day. I can imagine 1979 commencing my studies. It's like, you know, dream. 40 years ago. The first day. The first day is inauguration day. So you see the vice chancellor, you see the appropriate officers, then we vanish. Then your teachers will take over. So here the more important transformation going to take place. Because you, I know, by, uh, I am a mathematician, I know your SAT score is 1.8 or 9 or 1.78, so that means you are the 5% of the entire population. So I, I myself, I, I involved in the examination process in the combined mathematics. So I, I myself work in the confidential areas. So I know 45,000 SAT these exams. 45,000 sit for combined mathematics stream. And you are the privileged one, the 100,000, 200,000, 300 students. So what is that person they mean? Top three, cream. You are the cream of the entire mass stream. So you have come here. But earlier, when you are studying from the primary up to your scholarship, and your secondary up to your A level, you study the general curriculum. That examination for general certificate examination of the advanced level. It's a general curriculum. The curriculum is determined by the National Institute of Education. Oh, yeah. National Institute of Education, NIE. The examination done by uh, this uh, examination branch. The testing service, national testing service. Here, everything is going to be changed. Entire process will be taken up by this university. Curriculum. I am the university curriculum chairman for the last 10 or 12 years. So entire curriculum is determined by us, not Pennsylvania, not Monaco, not by California. So we choose our curriculum. Then examination process done here. So you have to be very careful. Because the entire process, even you, you depend on your parents for your food and drinks and your clothes and uh, so many support. 
Then you depend on other people for other support, your knowledge cultivation. Then you go to the church or somewhere or anywhere, you get your spiritual cultivation. No, when you come to university, entire thing. Preparation, testing, avoiding. When he said this man is first class. Why? Okay, look at the other girl. See, she also complains. See, I recruited her only a month ago. Companies. She is from Moratoa. She is another first class. She recruited for complementary studies. So Moratoa actually branded her. Moratoa branded her. He said, okay, we trust Moratoa. We recruit her. Okay, she performed an interview also. You understand? But she is not even know he too. She is in the transport, logistic and other disciplines. So we want to have a person like this. You understand, ladies and gentlemen, why I am quoting this, not to make them famous. This is what is going to happen to you. So first degree matters. MSc, PhD, anyone can do. As, as long as you start this, the supervisor one man takes you. Here, a group of people, entire faculty will be devoting time with you and entire life will be dedicated for your growth. Why? Who is funding this? The public funding this. That's what the government crisis, even the higher education, today World Bank says, no, even today I heard this um, International Monetary Fund says, no, too much pay for this higher education people. So we are in trouble now. No, it says too much money paid. So we are drawing the salary. Yes, yeah, there is IMF remarks. One of the remarks is this university people are paid very high. You don't know, some of our work cases are getting better salary than the principals. This is, this, is, this is what happening. So, the public money. So, you are coming here after going through 13 years, 14 years of education. Now you have come to the stage of the final professional delivery preparation. So, you become an engineer. So, engineer, here we have mechanical engineers, we have civil engineers, environmental engineers, electrical engineers, electronic engineers, computer engineers. So what I'm going to do, the best engine ever created is this engine. But you can't do anything, because it's a bio engine. No, I don't think our professors will do anything with this engine. <laughs> this heart is for me. Since my birth, till my death, this farm. No diesel, no petrol, no shaft, no piston. So it is very difficult to explain. Even doctor has to mend this without removing it. But engineers will do for us our creation, our machines, this building, this fan, right? So many things. Why do they do? Why do they do? Just take it to your home? No. Why do they do? Make other people life comfortable. Make others life easy. That's what this microphone is. I'm communicating from here. It's coming to you. There's so much of sacrifice there. Whoever contributed this electromagnetic theory actually come from uh, Edinburgh. This man who unified the electricity and magnetism together. Atparaja and uh, Professor Dilwe, there are two professors now in the electrical. The third one is on the way. So these professors uh, uh, actually learned this. Actually, this made by uh, putting this uh, electronics and electrical and uh, magnetic together. James Clark Maxwell building. I was walking there and doing my research. That man, I, I go to Indiana Road to see his house. His house is like a hut. But today big companies are producing so many things based on theory. So the university, we do a lot of sacrifice. We don't market these things. 
So we give and publish the papers in a public domain so that others can take this idea and make it. So that's why these university people are well respected in the society. They are not rich. They are not like Rajabhakshas. They are not like other Murlis. They are not like Rakayakas. Our professors are professors. After retirement they go and live in a very solitary life. But they have ideas, the rich ideas. To give it to the public. So ladies and gentlemen, why human being? We need to build these universities. The oldest university in this world, oldest university in the world is only thousand years old. Bolagama. It's a theoretical university. UBS is a time escape. Then second oldest university in the world. Everyone knows that university. University of Oxford. 900 years. When we had a problem with the corona, actually they found this uh, vaccine also. Observe that. Right? So this is what the university people do. So here our faculty involved in so many research projects. Recently we got awards for best IESL award, Engineering Institute of uh, National, what is it? Uh, ES? Yeah, Sri Lankan Institute of Engineers. The best awards for research. Our student got. No, the national level. That's what I'm saying, Vietnam. Vietnam. Vietnam man, duck bells. Every house has bells. Duck bells to draw water. Bells are so deep. And they, he fixed pump long time ago. And the best produce, the great produce, best onion produce, best chilies produce, best bananas produce. Even we have self sufficient in the milk, Vietnam. There is no passage to land for grace in the cow. Self sufficient. It's still, with this whole economic crisis, I go, my dough, did the milk come, only 120 rupees. Petrol is expensive, milk is cheaper, water is expensive. What will work? So, why? We have a tradition. Why I am telling this? Because the University of Japna. University of Japna is well respected even the Ministry of Education. In the UDC. We have a less troubled people. Even during the LTD time, all this uh, Tamil youth uprising time, 30 years, we didn't close the university even for a single day. People disappeared, fighting, shelling like the Ukraine now. We have underwent so many problems. We didn't cross the university for a single day. That's why they respect us. Keep on producing their students. So education is our livelihood. So today we are proud when we, in the existence of 47 years of existence in this uh, university, Daphna, now only last 10 years, we were able to have all the students from all over the island. So after 2009, the Muldi is coming, May 18. Again, it's a dance start here. Muldi remember and come, so some sort of, uh, you know, tension developed here also. But what I'm saying is, since 2010 only, we were able to have the mainstream of students coming to the university. So I told, I am one of the uh, establishment committee members of the Senate, in the faculty of engineering. So my Dr. Charles, myself, Professor Kandasami, now he's ill, and another is here, here, and Professor Agarai. So it's actually the committee entirely from the science faculty. But you see in the world, there are three things. Now they call STEM, science, engineering, technology. Without science, there is no engineering. There is no, without engineering, there is no technology. Then the technology supports the science. So this is a scenario. Why I am speaking today? Because tomorrow, next week onwards, you will be studying so many formulas, 
so many theories, so many principles, and this and that. But to be involved in that, you had to set the spirit right. So in the university, entire educational process. What are the process of education? Teaching, learning, examination, and these are the process basically. So teaching and learning, they are not separate things. There is no learning without teaching. There is no teaching without learning. So we call teaching and learning. The process, main process, then the evaluation process. So here, ladies and gentlemen, my dear beloved students, you are freshers. So freshers means, you know, when I get tired, doctor say, okay, sweet. Uh, your system is now very weak. Let us have a new blood from some young people. You know, blood transfusion. Because I can't generate anymore. So the new generation of people, we call it new blood. The freshers. You bring, you bring fragrance to this faculty. Without your coming, we are doing nothing. So sometimes when you go to the zoo, we feel sad. Because your presence makes this place vibrant. And this place is 166 acres. Then other side, madam, 300 acres, 400 acres. 400 acres. Just imagine, best residential campus in the entire country. We built this after the war. Only 10 years. When last time Professor Peeris, our GL Peeris, Honorable High Regional Minister then, and Professor Capital Pereira, and the former Vice Chancellor of Morocco, he was here. And after seeing this, he said, and usually the chairman professor Sampath was here, he's my best friend. He said, see, how could you build this within 10 years? Within 10 years? Best dry zone research training center built in 2 billion. 2 billion! Our faculty of engineering built in 5 billion. Then Indian grant, Japan grant. This will come automatically. It's not minister's grant. Actually, our professors wrote this and wrote this money. And technology. Now, it's going to be one of the best ever technology faculties in this country. And Madam Chair, she's an agriculture woman. There's no staff but chair. That's why I'm saying now this place, this uh, Aruyana, we call it, is named by LTD of those days. Because they won't build a, their family university here. So the original building, actually the agriculture building was their time. So we occupied that after they left this. So with this uh, uh, mechanical support from the government, of course. Uh, and uh, uh, then the President, uh, Excellency Mind Rajapaksha actually wrote this and donated to us. So it's a big thing for us happened. Then what I'm saying, I'm narrating a little bit of history. And then what happened? This science, sorry, technology, engineering, and agriculture. These are three primary things for us to grow. In side by side, side by side, because most of the residential facilities, so actually, former uh, hiring a minister, Mr. will help us to build up this hospital. Now everything is chaos. No, no more growth. I think we are now having a lot of problems. Because at the time, the intake was 50, 60, 70. Now 200. Not in a hostel. And also Jatna, no problem. We have big faculties there, but the society is well developed. So they can accommodate the students. I think the Director of Welfare Studies will tell you. In Jatna, no problem. We throw the students outside, but they go and reside with the people. But here the community also not that developed. So this was one of the most affected communities. So here what I am saying is, as a student, you have a big role to play in the sense, when you come to university, the entire educational process is going to be different. So you are self-learning. And what do you do after the lectures? And how do you make your time, these four years, going to reflect Entire life, just imagine, I am from village, like your dean engineering. 
Come from a simple village in a country, typical village in a country. But we made use of our four years in the university as a mathematics student, as a, uh, he's a first class, engineering. And we recruited as a staff in Pennsylvania. Went to UK, went to USA, went to Japan, uh, went to Papua New Guinea. And we have some now and delivery. Same thing to Atkuraj. Atkuraj, I even learned in the school, that this school, what to do? do? What do you mean? Nothing but perpetual school. He never wanted to leave. That school. And island top. Now, he delivered the pattern. Similarly, everyone will have their stories. Okay, what is the secret of these people decorating this uh, podium here or these uh, high tables? They make use of these stories. That's it. Same thing with the Thiruvara. Same thing with the Ganesh. Everyone. Same thing with the, the guy come from Monash. Just first recruit. First one come from PhD after recruiting. So these guys, similarly, I, I really, why I'm taking my time, I can also go back to Japan and enjoy my life. But I am pleading to you, whatever you make use of, you stay in this university four years, for which we are prepared. The country people money has been put in, and our resourceful staff is ready, and so many things are there, like this other existence in the planet. The Mesa coming, what the Lord Buddha said. The enlightenment. That is the most important thing. Entire, someone one of the life. It can be done. It can be utilized. Otherwise, you will be useless. The name is coming. The Mesa is coming. So here we have built a very good uh, religious hub. The Muslim student can go and pray. The mosque is built. The church is, is being built. In the temple is being built. And uh, the nice Bihara is done. Your engineering faculty staff devoted much of his time there. Uh, Dr. Dahlia Tampa. So, uh, side by side, side by side, we allocated four acres of land, side by side, to have a harmonious life. So what is the entire purpose of education? The final purpose of education is the character formation. So if we don't want to have a corrupted engineers, you understand? That's also part of the problem in the country. Corruption. Bribes. So we don't want. So we want the people to be, you know, actually serving to the people serving the poorest of the poor. So in this regard, I really, uh, uh, the parents, I mean, you have done a wonderful work. I know you have aspiration. Because I myself is a parent now. My son is sitting for the rest. So I know what it means. So you have aspiration. I can promise you, that's a promise I can give. The promise. Lord Krishna said to Arjuna in the, in the, in the, in the law, Bharat go. Hey Arjuna, don't worry, I never leave you alone. Even in the darkest moment of your life. I never leave you alone. So you may feel, you may be left alone, but you don't feel lonely because I am with you. Similarly, today what I am selling is. Right? The forthcoming four years. Entire welfare, and the education, and the attainment, and the training, right? We'll take care of it. That's what I can promise the parents. But you also give us a support in the sense, difficult time come, like a corona time come. We were trying to pull the program, but some parents say, no, 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 no. They we had because Sri Lanka, the present situation is very volatile, very fragile. So in this time, you know, a famous saying, they said, only the fortune favors the brave. If you want to shut down and stay home, you can stay. Then we can think, we can come back after opening. That's not the way, because 
The lion itself is called struggle. We have struggled with so many things. We have struggled against the dengue, mosquitoes. We have struggled against the corona. We have struggled against the elephants. So the elephants are coming home. One lecturer died in this premises. In this premises. So we have elephant problem, mosquito problem, snake problem, huh? problem problem. Then we have this, I don't know, this ruling problem, that problem. But despite of all this, we have to take our life over. So today, as a, on behalf of the University of Japan, as a Vice Chancellor, on behalf of my stakeholder, the UEC, and all other people, I welcome you and congratulate you. And also I pray to the Almighty that you get the best of, best of, best of everything so that you have a happy life here. Thank you very much for being here.